In this video today, I'm gonna to walk you through all my Serata DJ Pro crates. In the previous video, I went through my warm up and main set crate, which was my most important crate. If you haven't seen that video, check the link in the description down below and make sure that you watch it before watching this video. In this video today, I'm gonna to be going through my Ama Piano, Dancehall, Afrobeats and Soca crates. So if I open up my first crate, which is Ama Piano, which isn't that big. Ama Piano has only recently started getting big, especially in the UK or well for me anyway. So I've started to build my Ama Piano crate. But the thing was with me, when I first heard about Ama Piano, I didn't want to go rush out and download every single Ama Piano tune because I want to play the Ama Piano songs that I like. So if I would have went out and downloaded the top 100 Ama Piano songs, I might have been in a club and playing anything and everything, but then it might not be the correct song for the crowd. So what I started to do is listen to some Ama Piano mixes and if I thought they were good I would download them for my music library. So in Ama Piano um, I've got two crates here I've got a smart crate and I've got a selected crate which I'll get into in a minute. So Ama Piano there's only 51 tracks in here so the tracks in here I'll probably play through the set most of these tracks I might not play because some of them are not really suitable for the club or they're not suitable for the club that I play in but the tracks that I will always play is inside Ama Piano Selected so in the previous video, I talked through my selected crates. So these are tracks that I really personally like myself and I feel like they'll work in the clubs that I play in. So if I open up Ama Piano Selected, I've got 15 tracks in here. So I've got Sumba, 66, Champion Sound, Peru, Ama Piano Remix. All these tracks here have worked previously in the clubs that I've played in before. So I'll put them into the selected tracks. So whenever I need to play Ama Piano, I can jump into here and I know all these tracks will work. What I need to do actually now is go through my Ama Piano crate again and start moving moving more tracks into here. And I also need to start listening to a bit more Ama Piano now. Ama Piano has been around for a long time now, so I feel like I need to get a bit more up to date because people in the clubs that I'm playing now are wanting more Ama Piano. If I jump into my dancehall crate here now, this crate I have been building and working on for a very long time and I feel like I've finally got it. Dancehall is a very tricky genre to play, and especially if you wanna play it right. So if I go into here, I've got a bunch of uh, sub crates in here, which I'm gonna walk you through now. Hopefully this will give you some tips on how to organize and play your dancehall. So let's get into it. Girl dancing try. So basically what I've started to do is put together a crate of a bunch of tracks at home and then actually play them on my DJ decks behind me. The problem with organizing your music is you'll put together a crate, but then when you get into the club, it doesn't really makes sense some of the tracks don't make sense so what I've started to do is put a crate together jump on my decks and play as if I was in a club if the track doesn't really work properly I'll take it out and this is what this crate is so all these tracks in here are say for example I've just jumped on and I want the girls to be dancing to some dance or all these tracks here are gonna be the right tracks and they all kind of go together as well so you've got a bunch of tracks by Spice, Vibes Cartel, RDX, DeMarco, Busy Signal and Sham so all these tracks here I know that I can play and all the girls are gonna love you might want to try this as well put together a crate at home try it out on your DJ decks before you actually go into the club it's gonna really help you out a lot then I've got another crate here um, all dancehall so these are all my dancehall tracks in here so if I open this up I've got 564 dancehall tracks now that isn't a lot I had easily close to 2,000 a long time ago but I actually got rid of a bunch of them they're on my hard drive now but I've got a, I got rid of a bunch of my dancehall tracks because I knew I wasn't gonna play them in the club so I didn't want to clog up my hard drive space on my laptop Top. So I got rid of a bunch of tracks and then slowly what I'm doing now is adding some dancehall tracks in slowly if I need them. I know a lot of DJs that, that just have thousands of thousands of dancehall tracks because they feel like they need them but more time they won't even play them. So I just got rid of them because I didn't really need them. Obviously this is my overall dancehall crate and a lot of DJs will just jump into here and scroll down, look, look for their tracks and then they'll be like, okay, I wanna play this, I wanna play this. But for me, I can't work like that. There's too many tracks in here and they're not really categorized into what I wanna play if I go into this groups folder here let me move this one up and I'll explain this one here so inside groups I've got a bunch of sub crates inside here for different types of dancehall and different types of scenarios we'll start at the top so opening dancehall it pretty much says what it says on the crate. These are tracks that I can open up the club with. So I might get into the club, I might not feel like playing any R&B, any hip hop, any old school music. So I wanna jump in and play some um, opening dancehall. So all the tracks in here have a hashtag under the grouping column called opening dancehall. In this crate here, if I go to edit, I've got grouping contains opening dancehall. All these tracks in here, I can probably play at the start. I haven't really opened up with dancehall before using this crate, but this is just a good thing to have just in case I feel like doing it. Then you've got 90s dancehall. 
dancehall. So these are all the 90s dancehall tracks. Um, I haven't got that many in here because like I said, I deleted a bunch, but I'm slowly adding more and more in now. So if I feel like playing a 90s dancehall set, I can jump into here. Old school dancehall, I think if I go into this crate here, uh, grouping contains old school dancehall. I think this is every single dancehall track that I have, which is below the year of 2010. So if I want to play some old school dancehall, not just 90s dancehall, I'll jump into here. So you've got your tracks like Beanie Man, Sean Paul, Buju Bantu, Elephant Man. All your tracks in here, I feel like would work in an old school dancehall set. Very commercial dancehall. Um, we spoke about this in my warm up crate in the previous video. So if I'm in a crowd that is very commercial, but I wanna play some dancehall, I can jump into here. I can play tracks like Murder She Wrote. I've got a few edits in here as well that will cater for some of the crowd. And I've got Dude Beanie Man, No Game Serrani, etc. This crate here is one of my favorite crates, girl dancing dancehall. So if I wanna get the girls dancing, um, normally I would jump into my warm up crate and get the girls dancing or playing the ladies crate, which I showed you in the previous video. But if I wanna get the girls dancing some dancehall and not necessarily play too much commercial music, I'll jump into here. So if I scroll down and have a look, I've got RDX, Bang, Sham Wine, Bedroom Bully, Busy Signal, all these tracks here, girls that like dancehall will love. So this is just a good way to get the party started and just get the girls enjoying themselves. So if you feel like when you're DJing and you're struggling to get the girls dancing with dancehall, why not create a crate purely for getting the girls dancing? What I had to do to build these groups up was literally go through every single dancehall track I had and then play every single one and be like, you know what? Okay, this track is 90s, this track is old school, this track is for getting the girls dancing. It's just a good way to group up your use it to make your life a lot easier when you're DJing. The, the, the problem I had and a lot of DJs do have is that they're scrolling, 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 looking for songs and wasting time. Why not organize at home and make your life easier so when you're in a club, you're quick and snappy with your song selections. It just makes your life a lot easier. Under dance or tune, so this is a crate catered for me. So I struggle with playing the dance hall that isn't for the mandem and isn't for the girls. It's just the, the, the tracks that are just good. You won't necessarily dance them, you're more likely to sing to them. So your tracks like Clark's, Vibes Cartel, Click Me Fingers, uh, Straight Jeans and Fitted, all these tracks in here I've got grouped together and I'm trying to get a lot better with playing this. I'm not a dancehall DJ, I'm not great at dancehall. I can I can just about manage a dancehall set. So I've just put together this crate just to make my life a lot easier. And maybe if I wanna just play some dancehall tunes, I can just jump into here. I've got Rum and Red Bull, I've got Hold Egyptian, all them kind of tracks I've just put into here. Then I've got faster dancehall. I need to build up this crate as well. The reason why I build these crates is I open these crates up and I'm like, you know what? There's not a lot of tracks in here, so I need to update them. This is the reason why I split up um, some of my crates. But yeah, going into here, um, I have 21 tracks in here and these are all your faster dancehall tracks. In the club that I play in, some of the girls love to dance the dancehall and I might not necessarily want to play from the girl dancing dancehall crate, I might, might want to play some faster dancehall. And this is just a good way to pick up the pace in the club. So you've got tracks in here like Dutty Wine, Juke Girl, Brock It Down, all these tracks in here are perfect for the club. I really do need to update this one though. Then we've got uh, Gunman. So Gunman dancehall is becoming a lot more popular in the clubs now. So you've got artists like Skeng, Skilly Bang, who are creating these tracks for the Gunman in the club. So if I go into here, I've got Skeng London, Bad Man, Brick Pump Brick. Instead of me playing Bad Man by Skilly Bang and then scrolling through my entire dancehall library, I've split it up so I have all the Gunman tunes inside this crate here. So if I open this up, I've split it up as well. So I've got all Gunman dancehall. So if I go into edit here, grouping contains Gunman dancehall. So if you scroll to the right hand side, I've just got Gunman dancehall on the right hand side inside this column. And then I've also split it up into new school gunman tunes. So all the newer stuff, I think the year is after 2010. So it has a bunch of tracks in here that are newer dancehall, but then I've also got the old school gunman dancehall as well. So your Mavados, your Beanie Mans, your Capletons, all the tracks in here. And if again, I'm looking at this crate and I'm like, I don't have enough tracks in here. So I need to go to my record pools and download some more. Again, people, separate out your genres into specific scenarios. If I wanna play some gunman tunes, I can jump into here. If I wanna play some girl tunes, I can jump into here, and I can jump into the crate down here, which I'll speak about in a minute. So after gunman, I've got slower dancehall. This is just what it says on the crate. Just dancehall that's a lot slower. So I might close my set with some slower dancehall. So I've got tr tracks like She's Royal, 
love and affection can't satisfy her wi-fi all these tracks here i can play at the end of a set and it will just work so under ladies dance hall again i don't really have that many tracks in here but you got if you see here i've just got a bunch of shen Sia songs in here which i also need to update as well again i'm looking at this crate here going through my library i'm like i've only got 22 tracks for the girls so what i'm going to need to do is go to my record pools and download a few more tracks talking about record pools if you want to sign up to a record pool that is very good and it has a lot of music on there sign up to heavyhits.com if you want to get your first month for 4.99 use the code djcb i'm going to leave the link and the code in the description down below so then coming down um to here i've got dh which is dancehall with no group delete so these are all the tracks that don't have a group so if you look under grouping there's no hashtags in here these tracks i will not play if they're not grouped up i will not play them so i need to go through these and delete them so what i'll do is i'll listen to them if i feel like i'm not going to play them i'll move them to my external hard drive and then remove them from this laptop there's no point of having a bunch of tracks on my laptop that i'm not going to play because it's just going to use up too much memory and then there's another crate here called all dance all sets i've done so if i open this up this is just a thing i was chest testing before so i went through all my previous sets and took out the sections of dance all that i played so if i click this one and order it by number this is literally how i played one of my sets so i played can't satisfy Art, i'm still in love went all the way down and started playing some dance all tracks for the girls and then the same here this was a gunman set and then this is when i started with one man vibes cartel basically i was just going through all my crates and seeing how i played and how i could improve them and then i've also just got my dance all split up by old school mid school and new school so old school is all the tracks below 2010 um, mid school is all the tracks after 2010 but before 2018 and then new school dance hall is all the tracks after 2017 so it's going to be 2018 onwards i rarely play from these crates here um, but this is just a good way to split out your music so you're not always playing from a big big library of music right so if i go into my afrobeats folder um, this isn't as big as my dancehall folder so if i open this up i have a overall afrobeats folder so in here I have 619 tunes. I didn't even realize I had that many. Um, so in here, um, I just had a bunch, I have all my Afrobeat songs. Um, I've got most of these songs sent to me actually. Again, I'm not an Afrobeats DJ. So I had someone send me some songs and what I'd done was I listened to them all. If I liked the track, I'll put them into my library. If I didn't, I would just delete them. So I wouldn't usually play from this crate here either because again, it's just too big. So here's a crate here, which I was creating. So all Afrobeats without opening. So if I go into here, I've got genre is Afrobeats and then grouping does not contain opening Afrobeats. So I wanted a crate that just had Afrobeats tracks that I can play during main set. I didn't want it to be cluttered with opening Afrobeats, so I just removed them out. But I was working on that crate. I haven't finished it yet. So you can see finished sorting kind of 103. So I'm not finished with that crate yet, but I probably won't even go back to it because it was something I worked on, but I might not actually go back to it. And then if I go into Afrobeats selected, these are all the tracks that I'll play in my sets. This is just a good crate to have when I know I want to play Afrobeats and all the tracks in here, I could pretty much play. So I've got to split up between green and yellow. So in my previous videos i showed you that yellow means more chilled out music so more warm up and opening vibes whereas green is bangers so i will normally play my afrobeat sets from in here so i can jump in here i've only got 73 tracks in here but if i jump in i'll close my eyes and i'll play this one your number aoj then straight after that i can play on the low burner boy got soundgasm panna yeah burner boy skeleton all these tracks in here are bangers again like i said i'm not an afrobeats dj so i don't know the genre too well but i know what songs a crowd likes so i know to have them all in this crate you might need to do that in a club you might struggle with a specific genre so why not split out all the tracks into the ones that you know you're going to play and you know that the crowd would like just to make your life a little bit easier so then if i come down to this last crate here um i've got soca so i've got this crate sent to me as well i need to sort it out as you can see by the name here so soca i'm not really good at i really i don't think i've ever played soca in a club but i want to start playing it so what i need to do is actually go through this crate and actually listen to the tracks and sort out some tracks and make a selected crate of the tracks that i will play so that was my afrobeats i'm a piano dance sort and soca crates if you would like a list of all these tracks check the link in the description down below which will take you to my store you'll be able to purchase a list of all these tracks with inside all these crates just remember they're not mp3 files they're csv files that you can purchase there are also a bunch of free ones on the site as well so make sure you check those out before you go and buy the other ones in the next video i'm going to be going through my old school r&b and hip-hop crates if you want to check out that video just click it here and it will take you straight to it i'll catch you in the next one